Hi everybody, I wanted to uh, show you our new product. This is the Sonic Transporter i7 for Rune DSP. Um, as everybody probably knows, in um, the latest version of uh, Rune uh, 1.3, they've added the DSP functionality, and uh, you can do upsampling to DSD-256. Uh, they have all kinds of other plugins, equalization, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you're upsampling everything to DSD-256, your two-year-old Mac Mini is not going to be able to handle it. Uh, that's you know Macs are typically dual core i5. That's you know that's not enough. This is a this is a quad core i7 Cabby Lake the latest version, uh, and so this will let you do you know all the plugins. You could probably do DSD upsampling and, and potentially um, you know run all the other plugins at once and still not not use up all the all the CPU on this thing. So another great feature of this uh, product is it has two Ethernet ports. Um, there's been a lot of talk about this on the forum, is uh, being able to isolate your, um, your player um, from your regular network. So see, like normally you would kind of plug your, your uh, music server into your router over here, and then you take, take a player like the, uh, the micro and do, and uh, you plug that in over here. Uh, but now, you know, all, all of the traffic now, your, your music has to go from the server into the router and back, mixes with your other signal, there's, there's potential for noise, there's potential for, you know, packet losses. If this thing is filtering out some of the, you know, room protocols or something like that, you're going to have problems with that. So what you can do now is you can just plug it directly into the other port here on the back of the uh, Sonic Transporter. So now you've completely uh, isolated your two networks. The only thing that's going to go over this connection is your music. Uh, we have bridging all uh, pre-configured on this. I'm sure you've seen on the forums this way to do uh, this with Windows, but you know, you've got to set it all up. got to use a static IP address. You don't have to do any of that with this. You basically just plug these in and uh, it just starts working. That's uh, pretty much it.